John Searle with the call and Muskegon with his second power play opportunity of the evening. McCauley keeps it in at the point. Dumps it ahead back to McCauley, but it's too far, and he better hurry now. He's all right. He'll get back, but a little bit sloppy by the Fury. They had it set up, and the pass just wasn't where it had to be. Well, Muskegon ranks sixth in the league for power plays at home, and oddly enough, the Flint Generals are the second-best team on the road in killing penalties, so that's rung through here in the early going. Steered out of the corner by Steve Beadle. Out to Turner at the points again. Midboards, left wing. The Generals crowd him a little bit, so he sends it back out to Turner and back to Sagan. Looking in the middle, that's off a of skate. Sagan goes right back and gets it to Turner. Cross ice, it is tipped away by Gotchman, and it's over the blue line, so the Fury has to come back and touch up. Now Turner beats three men in. Can he get a shot off? Wrist shot, score! Well, that's what Speed will do for you, Mike Morris, because he turned the corner, and once he did, he snapped it off and beat Andre Mesut for a one-nothing Muskegon lead. Well, Mark Turner put on the, the uh, afterburners going around. Stefan Brochu on the outside. We see him pick up, skating through, and able to pick up that puck. The big slash from the Flint defenseman. Turner wasted no time in sliding it underneath the pad of Mezzin. Here we see it on the other angle. The big slash. Turner fought it off and slipped that puck between the legs of Andre Mezzin. The uh, Fury with the power play goal. 5.45 remaining in the first period. For Mark Turner, that is goal number 16 on the year. The number three score for the Fury. And you see furious Fred Muskegon celebrating Fury. the Muskegon lead. Power play goal at 14-15. Mark Turner. That backhanded flip knuckles on Perron. He's down. He's up again. And the Fury's got to be careful. McCauley will dump at the length of the ice. They'll take the icing just to settle things down. But Turner from Sagan and McCauley. No, the icing is waved off. And the Fury was a little bit of, uh, of a spurt after that power play. Here come the Generals now. Crisscrossing inside the blue line. The shot is snapped off by Jeff Whittle, but that was easily handled. Rick Gurney digs it out. And here come the Fury two on three. The backhander is just dumped in by Rich Petrola, and the Fury will change up. You really see the difference in styles between Muskegon and Flint. Muskegon just happy to dump the puck off the boards and get it out. The Flint Generals control the puck all the way down the ice where Muskegon just chips it off the boards, picks it up in the neutral zone, and their offense is generated by that tactic. And I don't know that it's necessarily a condemnation of the Fury, but Flint seems to be a better skating team, too, and perhaps it's just the style that you see, but they crisscross, and they're always moving and weaving. You mentioned it earlier, a very European style. Oh, that wrist shot, and now the rebound by Corey Johnson. The wrist shot rose up on Mezzin and really hand, handcuffed him momentarily. Now the Fury hang on to it. Herdeman through a maze of traffic scores! Steve Herdeman had nothing to do but dump it on net. He did, and I don't know if it deflected in, but it's in for a 2 nothing Muskegon lead. Well, that, that puck was definitely deflected out in front of the net. I don't know whether it went off a Muskegon player or not. Hopefully we'll be able to pick it up on the replay if we've got one. Here we see it in the replay. Tournament with a shot from the blue line. Let's go with the one-timer. And that, in fact, did make contact with someone out front, whether it was Stefan Brochu or the Muskegon player. We weren't really able to tell on that replay, but we'll find out with the call here from John Searle. Well, there was a Fury player who was obscured skating right in front of the net, the screen Mezzin, and the puck seemed to go to him and the defenseman and then change direction. I think that was Steve Walker out front. Oh, it is Steve Herneman that will get credit for the goal. His first goal of the season, so a big night for Steve Herneman. And we have an elbow coming up, actually a roughing call coming up against the Flint Generals. 2-0, Muskegon with the lead. Penalty call upcoming. We'll sort it out and straighten it out when we come back. Time.